Welcome, everybody. We are Too Sweet to Delete here Hi. with a full house for you and the uh, Wilbur Club headquarters. Uh, we've got, of course, Gurkalicious, Jason the Dingo, the brand new, but one of the original, original founders of Too Sweet to Delete, the maniacal one, M1. This is the first video where the That's four cool. are here. Yes, this is the, 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 the first the time we're going to have the four horsemen four. together. We also have four horsemen. We also have our young lion here with us. This is Shay Sizzle. He is in control of the swear jar. I don't know if you guys have watched the earlier videos, but we do have a counter. We're going to try not to swear too much, but we did bring some change. We're going to donate to his college fund. Oh, look who's here. We also oh, have hey. Brother Leo in the house. He is too sweet to delete. As we said, everything is too sweet here in the uh, Wilbur headquarters. So we want to get started by talking about the Royal Rumble. Uh, I think we can all agree it's our favorite event of the wrestling year. I'm excited. Yes. Very, it, very excited. It's January, Rumble. so now the storylines are beginning. They kick it off oh. by doing the uh, Royal Rumble. So, just to be quick, a few facts about this one. Uh, Chris Jericho needs four minutes to break the all-time record for most time spent in the Royal Rumble match. That's pretty significant considering that Flair and Mysterio both win 60 minutes, Iron Man style, one, uh, one Rumble. You've got uh, Stone Cold that's won three. You've got Michaels that have won two. Kane has the most eliminations. Roman's out there doing all these eliminations. And there you got Jericho just hanging, even though he hasn't won one yet. My goat. He always is like one or two because he's such an Iron Man. He's like one of the best workers. You can always hear him like kind of calling it in there. Yeah. Well, didn't better. he come out like number four or five last year? Yeah, very early. He's always pretty he's early. All, yeah, I think at one time he was three. Right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go down the line. I'm going to start with any surprise entrance that you have already planned, that you plan to see, that you're expecting to see, and who your eventual winner will be. So start with the maniacal off. one. That's right. <laughs> we have to start with him because he's going on. I got five. <laughs> five just entrances. Five again. times. Five times. So, number one, of course, I'm going with Finn Balor. Uh, just just because it's my original pick who I wanted to win, but how things are right now, I'm just, I'm lost. So, we're yes, going to go with Finn Balor. Uh, my second one is Samoa Joe. Samoa Joey. Samoa Joey. Uh, number three, I have to go with 10. 10. 10. 10. The most over baby face they have right in the company right now. The entire, Ty Dillinger. The entire rumble, that's all we're going to hear. Yeah, like all, all, 10, all night, you're going to hear 10, 10, 10 all night. 10, yes, we're going, the going countdown with will We're going not, with Ty of number three. No one will be counting 3, 2, 1. It's going to be 10. 10. It's going to be 10. 10. 10. 10. And so number, that's your third. You got two more. I got two more. Number four. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Jeff Hardy. Number four, brother Nero, I, Jeff Hardy. Just, just because of what's going on with those two right now, just because their contracts are coming to an end with TNA, Jeff Hardy already announced that he does want to retire, have his last match at Mania. It's they're they're so over right now, and it's no better time than to come back at the Rumble with that. But over Matt, broken Matt's the most yeah, over Matt guy in the world right now. Matt's not ready yet. Oh my God, Matt! It all has to do. I'm with gonna go ahead and continue. This, this, this I'm gonna contribute. <laughs> Matt Hardy is over. I still don't understand Broken Matt. I think Jeff Hardy <laughs> is a shit pile better than Matt. Swear jar. <laughs> Noted at 344. All right. Wait, what? <laughs> and uh, number five. 344, by the way, that's one second before uh, Jericho's going to go over the ropes. You don't think <laughs> he's going to get the four-minute record? He's not getting the record. The, I, they gave him the U.S. Championship. He's getting the record. Yeah, that guy's getting record. to the Final Four, man. Jericho's yeah. gonna. Is, okay, yeah, so I pick to win number it. five. So, so wait, number five. <laughs> number five. <laughs> five. Really quick. Number five. It's only because I can still dream. I'm picking Sting at number five. Ooh, just because. Even, no one's talking about that. Just because he's there's nothing going on with Sting. What what's Sting been doing lately? Yeah, Other than I'm gonna right. inspire the Dallas Cowboys to win a match that they didn't Ron's win at all. So they did not win that game. They, they didn't win that game. So I'm gonna go with Sting because who wouldn't want to see the Undertaker and Sting have that Hulk Hogan warrior back to back, face to face, oh my god moment where everyone will just lose their shit. Noted at 4.46. <laughs> um, so there's your five, and your winner is... My winner, 
Well, it all depends, but actually, I'm going to go all in, all in, because I wasn't going to go for Joe. If Roman wins the Universal title, Joe should should win the Rumble. Those two should go at it, because it would be Samoan against Samoan. It's a great way to finally two push tough, Roman back in the spotlight, to, to push him back into the baby face, because right now, I, I don't like him. I, I have, don't care. Uh, uh, that's pretty much Universal. Universal um, so title, man. So, moving on to... But no, wait, oh, I, oh, my sorry, number one no. pick, I'm sorry, but oh, my number okay. one pick as of right He's now, not done. I'm not done, uh, uh, is, is Jericho. I think Jericho is going to win the Rumble. We're going to see Kevin Owens and Jericho go at it. Main event, WrestleMania. It's too sweet. Yeah. Too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that has got to be in the works, right? That's the that's the biggest story they have going on Raw. So, thank you for your contributions. Dingo, who is your surprise entrant? Who is your winner? Uh, I, I got a UK boy coming out. For surprise injuries. Fresh off the UK tournament. Who do you yeah, got? I got the champ. The champ, Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate. The Tyler kid. Bate. The kid. What do you think? Come on. No better way to solidify a new new championship. I agree. Some other I mean, boys come into the Rumble. That needs to happen at the Rumble, too. I, um, I have to agree. Yeah, to really push that whole UK division, you got to have that boy come out. you got to, like, just... You gotta you know, show them off, right? Yeah. Yeah. Come out there, land a few kicks. You know the East End kick. Tyler Bate coming! Oh my boot. God! This young man is old. only nineteen years. You can already, you can already no, hear yeah. Michael Cole. You can already hear Michael Cole. Mm. This young man, blah blah blah. Actually, who knows? We don't even know who's gonna be doing commentary. We need Michael Cole and Mara yeah, doing the Rumble. Graves. And Graves. we gotta have Graves. Graves. Okay, so your uh, surprise entrant will be Tyler Bate. Who is your winner? Who have you chosen as the winner? I'm gonna have to go with Balor. Balor is not in the Rumble. We do not know. So that's like a double. That's a d- He's at it with a double. The Dingo's got the... It's a double Dingo. He's doubling down. He's got, double dingo. He's got a surprise <laughs> entrant. Too sweet. Too sweet. In Tyler Bate is his surprise entrant. And then in a double surprise entrant, he's got Finn Balor with the, win, with the overall win. And uh, why not let him uh, get right back into the picture? Uh, you know, he never lost the belt. That's he never got me, to push the belt. Brings me to my point. It brother, is my turn. Brother Leo. <laughs> Not to be like a Finn Balor guy, but... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Worldwide. So he's a fan, He huh? comes in, number 30. No. Number Fresh 30. as a daisy, come in there and just Ooh. deliver a few double Hashtag stomps. number 13. He has I been trolling... It. Him and Kenny Omega have been trolling throughout their Instagram and their Twitter with their hashtags. They're all hashtagging the number 30. And people are saying that uh, with Kenny, it means that he'll become a free agent on the 30th. With Finn, it's obviously saying, you know, referring to the Rumble. So So with that being said, I think my person winning it who has been, I don't want to say down, but I think Seth Rollins wins. Seth Rollins, Ooh. wow! Ooh, that's, that's a good pick. That's a sexy where pick, man. Been, like, where man. would that where go? Where would that storyline go? If Seth won? It. It's supposed to, this, this, apparently the stuff with Triple Wait, H and him exactly, is supposed to happen yeah. first. But, it should have happened last year, but why are we getting it now? It's will we see Triple boring. H in the Rumble? Will we see Rollins and Triple H go at it? Because as I we said at the Rollins beginning, Rollins wins, and that's when it happens. Yeah, Triple H comes out. As we said in the beginning of the video, this is January. This is where storylines begin, right. and they all lead to WrestleMania. The road to WrestleMania. The road to WrestleMania begins. <laughs> It's like next week. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, um, that's a great pick. You never know what the storylines. Let's get into Gurkalicious. Who are your surprise entrant, and who is your winner? I'm Mr. Gonna, the Gherkin. I'm going with my uh, <laughs> my winner first is Jericho. Um, I think, like we've said, there's more to the storyline that you can work with him over almost anybody else right now with him and Owens. Universal. Um, Universal, unified, Universal, Galactic, think, the Galactic Champions, and then as of Worlds. Far, as far as like a uh, a surprise entrance, I I'm hoping for Kurt Angle. I think that's a safe bet, though. Uh, I think another safe bet would be Samoa Joe. Um, but to just go out on a limb, I am I want to see Matt Hardy. Um, I want to see that crowd go crazy. Because I guarantee if Matt Hardy goes up, it's the biggest I think that's a little too sweet. Um, It's a little too sweet. And with that being said, though, I think the most deserving wrestler 
to when it would be the Miz. His heel work this uh, past year, he's the greatest. Yeah, he's he's had he's had a great, no one had a better year than the Miz. Yeah, and I hate the Miz. He, I, I fell in love with the Miz after that shoot. I think he, did, yeah, mm-hmm. and I mean the talk is lot. Uh, was it talking smack or whatever? It was yeah. very flare really like. It was very flare like. Um, Give me this camera, and then just shoots right. And then even the other promo he did maybe like three weeks ago on, on talk is talking smack was really good. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if, if the Miz takes it, but I'm going with Jericho as my pick, with the Miz being a surprise one. So sweet. That is Too a sweet, sweet pick. With Matt going with Jericho. Hardy, because Y2J for life. For life. For um, life. Let's go to Shay real quick. Shay, um, who do you think is going to win the Royal Shea. Rumble, buddy? Um, it's Chris Jericho or AJ Styles, I think. Chris Jericho or AJ Styles. Look at the mind of this young genius. This is why he is also too sweet. Thank you, buddy. Mm-hmm. He is too sweet. Those are two great picks. Do you have anybody that will be a surprise to come in? Like, like a surprise? Like if you could see anybody in the Rumble, who would it be? Just pick that. They have to be alive. <laughs> That's a tough one. We might have to get back to you on that. Right. Yeah, he, 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 he has so much knowledge. Hulk Hogan. RVD. RVD. Kenny Omega. <laughs> and we are not here to uh, pressure him in any way. No. <laughs> so obviously. Uh, Getting down Let's into the, later, getting into the real, <laughs> getting into the real <laughs> shit. Eleven twenty two, swear jar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So my surprise entrant is also my winner. I think Samoa Joe's going to show up. He's going to clean house because at this point we know that like Goldberg and Brock are going to take each other out of this. They're going to brawl in the back. That's going to you know because you got to take a couple. Uh, it's it's awesome them. just to see him in the ring with those guys. Yes. Woo. Yes. Woo. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yes. And you know, Joe is, is a. Anybody speculated on Undertaker? Undertaker winning? Undertaker at all? He'll be there. Oh, he'll yeah. be there. He'll be there. He'll, he'll be there. Be well, the it would have been cool. Yes. Now, see, here's my problem with the Rumble. <laughs> is we can't talk over each other. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Go ahead. The problem with the Rumble with me is that you know the breaking tradition. So as we know right now, the Rumble is for the number one contendership for the Universal Championship. Mm-hmm. It's number one reason why I'm going with Jericho on that. But to have Taker win it, why would Taker or Brock or Goldberg even fit, even yeah. care for that belt or even try to you know make it worth you know whatever it is to those guys? It's I mean, if it was for the heavyweight title like it, it traditionally is supposed to be, I was all in for Finn Balor because, <laughs> dude, come on, like how better way to sell WrestleMania to have Finn Balor and AJ Styles go at it? I agree. Uh, that's a match that we've all been dreaming of. They've never met in any promotion, whether it was Japan, they just missed each other, uh, whether it was in, in any of the other indies. AJ and Finn have never gone at it, as far as we know. Fantasy. As far as we know. But you know, so there's some might, fantasy might, booking right there for you. Like this, this, t- this man, this Rumble is going to go just anywhere, anywhere right now. I think that even though I picked a powerhouse, it's still my opinion that like. I think a workhorse like a Rollins or like a Jericho is going to win this. this. This this Rumble belongs to the athletic wrestlers, not these big hosses. They're going to eliminate each other or, you know, the gang-up mentality that you see in the Rumbles. Because right, right. there's huge guys. And you're talking about Strowman, Strowman. Baron Corbin, yeah, all these, like, really legit, huge, tough guys. So you got to let the hosses take each other out, you know? I'll tell you one thing I'm looking forward to, though. Kofi. Kofi? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, Kofi! Right. What's going to be How's his surprise, super awesomeness that he does in that ring? And here's the, the thing is, last year they had a cool uh, elimination where he was on Big E's shoulders and, you know, they were walking around eating popcorn. Mm-hmm. But that won't happen this time because they're going to be, all three of them, in the Rumble. So, whereas Kofi was the only entrant from the New Day in last year's Rumble. Just off the top, sorry. If, you know, whatever. Every go, man for himself. Go, go take a shit. At 14.04, <laughs> if I was wrong, whatever. Um, so, we have our picks. The Rumble is uh, is is done in our minds. Let's move on I to the... one quick thing. Oh, really quick. no, please. He was bringing it up. What did you want to ask? Look, I think it's um, a surprise, like, entrance. Uh-huh. Maybe K. Omega? Really? That would be so. Beyond, beyond. The dreams of a child. Yes, the dreams of a child. Into the thoughts of a man. Like seriously, yes. Hopefully, it happens. We'd love to see 
that our fearless oh, leader Kenny Omega. We would love to see him out there, even if it was for a one-off. Who knows? You know, why not toss a little bit of dough his way just to see the guy get out there and see what kind of pop he gets? If he does show up, you know he's going to get a bigger pop than AJ. Oh. It's, that's, 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 yeah. it's a bigger it's, surprise. It's, that's a bigger it's, surprise it's, than AJ. It's a Wars. huge surprise, and like, and as of right, like, as, like after you know that amazing match you just had, like, why not? Like, just do it. He's free agent right now. He can go any which way he wants to. I mean, he did already have an interview. Like, you know, if the WWE wants me, if they use me in the right way, I'm he would be for happy. It. He's to go. all he's all down for it. He's also said that if they're not going to use him the right way, he would rather be the star that's never stepped foot in yep. the WWE. Yeah. So, with that being said. That's really cool. Thank you, Shay, for that good segue because that's a that's a really that's probably the yeah. biggest surprise if he does show up. I, he had a banana. I really thought he was gonna go with Doink the Clown. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought Jericho was gonna dress up like Doink the Clown again and like come out. Like how amazing would that be? Doink the Clown. You know, hopefully we do see a legend. Maybe it'll be Doink the Clown. Maybe we'll get the Mountie. Who knows? You know, there's always the Rumble's a, a, a beautiful thing because you always get a surprise here and there. Yeah. Um, anyone want to go on that? Who? What legend are we gonna see this year? Anyone? Anyone want to like take a brand new Michaels? Oh, Angles, Woo. Michaels, Angles, Michaels, Angles, Michaels, Michaels. Angles, <laughs> Michaels. <laughs> Sean Angle and Kurt Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, they'll be in the Rumble with <laughs> Ravishing Ricky Steamboat <laughs> and Perry Saturn. <laughs> yes. Perry Saturn. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, yeah, sorry. Swear it's yeah, that's a, oh, <laughs> the time in the at Come sixteen on, twenty. Swear jar. <laughs> Kid, you're going to be in Harvard before you know with the, way, <laughs> with the way this is going. So, guys, moving on to the actual card. Uh, we don't know if they're going to start the pay-per-view off with the Rumble. There's been rumors about that. They did it at a previous pay-per-view where there was a triple threat between Ambrose, AJ, and Cena. And that led off the pay-per-view. So, I don't know if they're going to do that. Uh, but there are four other matches on the card. We have uh, Swanee, our boy Swan from the old school. Rich Swan. The cruiserweight champion against Neville, the uh, the devil match. in Neville, the, the heel the turn. Hashtag the devil in Neville. This is the best heel turn that has happened in a minute, and it's crazy because you know the Miz has always been a heel. So even though he's on fire and having a great year, he's always been a heel. There was no turn. Uh, Ziggler just turned, but it was like you know, it's not full where was he even going? It's it's that's still happening. Neville has been since he came back. On fire, and he, you know he he was on the UK tournament. He beat Tommy End. Uh, you know he has two finishers now with that crazy superplex that he does and the red arrow. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start off. I'm gonna say that Neville goes ahead and, and, and takes control There's of this no division. There's no other way to make that division good and great as it is without putting that belt on someone who deserves it more king than... King of the Cruiserweights. He is the king of the Cruiserweights, and and he looks dope as a devil. He looks like a freaking devil, dude. He is a tough son of a bitch. At 1747, uh, if you remember, he broke his ankle in the middle of a match against Chris Jericho. First move he does, he jumps up and does a Hurricane Rana. Even Not though even he that, couldn't man. finish the match, he's a tough cat. If he it deserves this. If it wasn't for Seth Rollins putting his leg on the rope, he would be the heavyweight champion. Oh my goodness. Oh my. One more time! Has what? Should I do it one more time? Should I? Should I? Should I? Two minutes go by, you finally jump on the top rope and you still lose. But anyways, prior to that, you did get the three count, but had the ro the foot on the rope. This is a guy that has, like you said, he beat Rollins. Dude. He's beaten Rollins. He had a, he had rivalries with guys that are four times his size. So there's no reason why he shouldn't just be dominating this division. So Neville, Neville. I'm going Swan. Swanee. I'm, I'm really? gonna solidify Swan as a competitor. Um, because he can go if you've ever seen Yes, he can go like Coco Beware can go. <laughs> Swanee can go, man. Coco couldn't go at all. But yeah, I, I mean, just you're building up Neville, you know, as this monster mm -hmm. heel, and like you've seen the vicious side of Swan, you know, attacking Neville. Yeah. yeah. And, like, so he's, he's yeah. giving it back. With no dancing, just sprinting yeah, right, right to the ring. did. And I think it's going to happen. I think you're going to build up your champ, but Neville's still going to look good. He's going to look strong with it. And it's going to be okay for both of them. And eventually Neville will win like, at the next pay-per-view. But I think you have to build up Swan to make that future weight good. Yeah. Who do you think is going to win between Neville and Rich Swan for the Cruiserweight Championship? I have no idea. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, anyway, I think it's going to be a good match. I think... Yeah, anybody that's a sleeper yes. for anybody a match of the night, guys. It usually is. That is a sleeper teams. match for the night, but I'm, I, that's the one I'm actually going to pay attention to. Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to watch this one. The only thing for me that makes it tough for Swanee to win, going back to Gurkalicious's pick, is that as a heel, Neville has so many different ways to win. 
there's the cheating factor, there's weapons, there's bumping the ref, there's all that stuff. So, you know, it, it's, it's always tough. Then again, as you said, solidifying a, a real champ, uh, getting a, a really good, clean babyface win yeah. by fighting through the odds. Mm-hmm. Dingo, who do you got on the cruiserweight match? I got Neville. Neville has is, is, is got to be the popular pick. He's Girl pretty sweet. Devil. Devil, the devil, devil. Neville. The devil and Neville. Devil, Neville. Devil, Neville. Devil and Neville. Devil and Neville. So, uh, next match, we'll start with the Dingo because he uh, it's his favorite wrestler in the entire company right now. We've got Bailey versus Charlotte for the uh, for the female, Duh. for the women's on, championship. Guys, Bailey. Bailey all the way. It's all Bailey. Yep. We're getting wavy in here. It's, okay. <laughs> it's Bailey. I'm a That's hugger. I'm not wearing this shirt today, you know? but Bailey. <laughs> I would so mark out Bailey. if I got a Bailey hug. Oh, she, we would all mark huh. out. Bailey. Bailey, 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 Bailey. Okay, this might be qualified for a swear jar at 2337. Okay, She's got the best at... ass in the business. Not gonna lie. I second that motion. That thing is like a, it's like a little. Carry? It's, like a, it's, it's like a grape. It's like a grape. It's just, you know, just, uh, you know what? Gosh, for normal people's size. She's Here. just the best at everything. Thank you. I'm not impressed with her storyline right now. She at all. I think it at all. is boring as. Horseshit. It, it's going nowhere for me, and I don't understand why we're getting this now. At 2105, by the way. Horse, yes. Horseshit. At 2109. <laughs> she cannot talk at all is the problem. She really doesn't I, have I, a great like, promo. And then even with her finisher, I, I'm I'm still not sold. I'm sold on her character. She's a great inspiration for all young ladies that watch WWE. It's just this match to me. Just It's just... Good. Um, so who are you taking? Oh, um, I'm going with Flair, dude. Hello. Woo! Woo! The queen of the ring. I'm taking Charlotte as well. Who do we got? Charlotte here? Charlotte for sure. Who do you got? I'm going Bailey. Going Bailey. So we've got a split house here. We've got two against three. I think Charlotte retains. She's undefeated on pay-per-views, and I don't see Bailey being the person to break that streak. But Maybe at Mania, I think she's. I think that'd be a great moment for her. But you know, we'll see where all this goes in the women's division. We may have a discussion on the women's division another night. But wait till your turn. Wait. So, yeah. You were just saying. He said he's not very familiar with it. He plays the game all the time. He watches with me here and there. Um, he's a huge AJ Mark. Um, but besides that, it's AJ. And his other nickname is Shay J Styles. Shay J Styles, that's right. So he's, he's here Styles. though. He's the man. Collecting no. money. <laughs> he's collecting money for college. Yeah, you know you can't yeah. hate on the kid. Um, of course, you know we have that. Were you the one that stole his bag? Yeah. Did you steal AJ's did you steal bag? AJ's bag. Let me see. Like <laughs> There's like all this money. Why do you have Japanese money in your bag? You've been out of Japan for like two years now. Um, anyway, <laughs> sorry. Uh, moving on, speaking of AJ Styles and his unfortunate bag incident, we've got him against John Cena for what? Is this the fourth time or is this the third time? But anyway, this is for the actual WWE World Championship, not the Universal title. This is the real belt. This is the big gold. Yeah, the real belt. The, yeah. the belt that actually is the WWE, that is wrestling at this point. And to even drop the, the word heavyweight from the title is a disgrace. That's good. Anyways. Yeah. So, as a pick... I don't. I, I mean, I, of course, we. I want to see AJ win. I'm sure that all these guys are doing double duty as far as the two main title matches. You've got AJ and Cena, and then Roman versus Owens. I'm sure we'll see all four of those guys in the Rumble. So who knows if these title matches happened before or after the Rumble? So we've yeah, got we've got some guys doing double duty. I think you'll get the losers. I think the Rumble goes last. I still think the Rumble goes last. I think the losers of those matches get into the Rumble. I think the winners will not be in the Rumble. So I don't think we're going to see... We'll get to it later, but in my eyes, we're not going to see Owens, and we're not going to see Cena. Right. Is what I'm going to uh, I go, we won't see Owens, we won't see AJ. So you're taking AJ, I'm, I'm taking, taking AJ. Cena. I'm thinking Cena's time plays record. I don't think that Cena so has mad. what it takes. Yeah, I think... I honestly mad. think I don't... Think Cena is even worthy of even breaking that record anymore. Even can time carry with it. somebody for so long. It's he's been he's been in the business for so long, <laughs> and what <laughs> we're witnessing right, right now in wrestling, we're finally seeing the actual true movement of the next era to happen. And that era of this mongoloid gorilla running the show is over. And you want to see guys go. And AJ is the greatest wrestler on the planet today. 
and no one else can headline WrestleMania other than AJ because I don't think Cena could do it. It's going to be a boring five move match. It, it's it, no, 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 no. And as of SummerSlam, we already know that you cannot beat me. Exactly. I have my money ready. Okay. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> He's gonna... Oh my god. Oh my god. This, is, this is gonna happen. So look, Cena, great guy, hell of a worker, does a good promo. I met the guy once. He was, you know, He's a nice guy. Two hundred dollars for a picture yeah, and an autograph. Bucks, yeah. So hustle loyalty, respect your way out of that one. WWE. Um, I paid twenty five for an autograph. Shit, earmuffs. Yeah. Thank you, earmuffs. He doesn't fucking belong in the same ring as AJ Styles. He has no fucking business. <laughs> Tying Ric Flair's record, all of that Woo! in 2519. Thank you. Woo! I'm about to elbow drop my jacket right now. <laughs> I'm about so, to pop this kid's head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay now. Uh, we're so sorry for that, but you know, here at Too Sweet to Delete, we just go ahead and we start shooting in the shooter's corner. So, you well, know what? I, I'm going to start it right now. You know, if, if Cena wins this championship, <laughs> you know, we got we to put it up online. We got to, you know, right immediately hashtag it right away. Since everyone's on this, you know, anti Trump thing, you know, hashtag not my president. How about we start hashtag not my champion? Ooh, I like, That's I like that. Woo! Thank you. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Let the guy go. When, when he comes out on, 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 on SmackDown with that belt, just just start chanting it. Just, just you know, not my champion. Not straight my up. champ. Not my champ. Um, wow. So, Roman against Owens. Who do we got for the Universal title? Roman interestingly dropped the, the U.S. title, which he obviously did not care about. The way he was dragging it around, he would hold it over his shoulder and throw it into the ring. He kind of didn't care about it. He's a guy that knows that he's going straight to the top, so he wants that Universal title. He dropped the U.S. title to these, Jericho. We got these two shoulders here, and one of them's already got a belt. Shuffer and Succotash. <laughs> <laughs> just want to say thank you, Vince, for still writing Roman's promos. Thank the you guy for will never get career, over. Pretty much. He'll never yeah. get over if you keep feeding him those stupid lines. Because, you know, <laughs> Vince, you're so out of touch. It's just, your promos are the shits. Oh. Your promos are the shits at 26.53. Um, so... <laughs> Wow, I would love to see Kevin Owens. We are all too sweet to delete here. Uh, he was a Mount Rushmore guy um, with the Young Bucks back in the day. Uh, Kenny Omega has said that that's his favorite wrestler to work with because Kevin Owens can really get anything out of any kind of match. We've seen how great some of his matches are. Looking back at last year's Rumble before he enters, him and Ambrose had that last man standing match, <laughs> double yeah. table power bomb. I mean, you know, these guys were just going. And, uh, you know, Owens is... is, is to me, how, how, about like, how about like Owens and AJ when they met in the ring at last year's Rumble? Like, how amazing was that? Pop? Just yes, just they did just connected and just it was just it had to happen. Oh yes. man, it, it was, was perfect. Just, it was perfect. So, it had to happen. Although I want Kevin Owens to win, I somehow just see Roman winning this championship for like the 80th time or whatever it is. The guy's getting to push every other pay per view. Yeah. Um, he deserves it by look. And by his I, charisma factor is zero. Yeah. He's a charisma it's not vacuum. It's his fault that he was pushed to the moon. You know, so it's. We Vince's all do fault. hate on him it's and all. everything, but it's not his fault. He like, has six moves he's now. Not <laughs> <laughs> it's a shoot. It's a shoot. Man, I can go. I can go any any way with it, with him. Like I said, like if they put the belt on him, and if Joe wins the rumble. I want to see the Simones battle it out. I think it'd be a great match. Uh, but if they, you know, like I said, I'd rather see. Honestly, I'd rather honestly see Owens take it. I think uh, just that that storyline building up since SummerSlam will just end Mania on a good note. Just seeing those two go at it. My opinion on those four guys: uh, AJ Cena, Roman, and Owens in those two title matches. As previously, I picked Samoa Joe to win. I think Joe's a great matchup for any four of those guys. They're going to get a good program yeah. out of Joe versus Owens, Joe versus Roman, Joe versus Joe AJ versus for the 20th time, yeah. and then Joe versus Cena, which has never happened. Um, you know, Joe versus the world. Joe versus Michaels. <laughs> nice. Joe versus... Uh, but yeah, know. they already come on. Yeah, didn't, yeah, didn't Michaels already say that? Like he came that, That's out, his, he, that's he, his he, one he guy that he wants to work with. Did. Which yeah. is uh, interesting. That's really interesting considering that AJ was really, really trying to shoot for that yep. match at Rumble. Who knows? Maybe in we'll see. In Michael's hometown. In Michael's hometown. And uh, make sure that you go see Gert's new favorite movie, The Resurrection of Gavin Stone, starring the great Shawn Michaels. Hold on, hold on. Can you see me? I'm, I can I see did, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The Resurrection of Gavin Stone, available now. <laughs> <laughs> 
at Christian bookstores worldwide. I'm sure one of, one of our <laughs> Chicago members, JP, shout out to you there. I'm sure you've seen the movie. You should give me a review. Or give us a review. Please. Just please. please. I really want to know what this, if it's good please. or not. I know Sean, not Sean's gonna... your boy. Just, I, I, I want to see, you know. We are not going to watch that shit at 2949. <laughs> we are not watching it. You should have a game where you have to take a shot every time one of his eyes make contact oh. with the camera. <laughs> it would be great. See, I'm, one I'm of the his eyes. I'm the biggest Shawn Michaels fan out there, but my boy looks so bad now. He, he used to be but... such a handsome fella. Now he looks like he did all those pills and all that all alcohol those, that he those, denied dr- all those over all those years. came pouring out of his face. Yeah, 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 look, we're going to shoot on Shawn Michaels. Like, like I said, this is my boy and everything, and we joke around. Like When I get drunk, my one of my eyes go a little wonky, and we call it the HBK eye. And, I mean, this Shawn, I'm not seeing your damn movie. Sorry. 30-30. That wasn't really a swear, but he no. had, he betrayed his friend. He betrayed his boy. It's a heel turn on Michael. You know what WWE movie I'm going to go see is that other one that looks like Chronicle. Ziggler's one's on Netflix now. What do you mean? It looks, looks like Chronicle. It looks like There's Chronicle, the one with dude. Barrett. No, it's like a yeah, super no, agent I saw, I saw, dude. It, it, it's, it's, it, it literally looks like the movie Chronicle, but it's, it's a WWE Studios movie, and it looks really freaking cool, dude. Yeah, I just did a shoot I'm, for that stupid movie on our podcast, and, and I, 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 I don't even know the name of the movie or the who's even in it. I just know it looks like really God, freaking cool. Thirty one oh five. We ain't it's, watching it's that like shit. It's like that movie that Sinbad played in. As yeah, a genie. that one. Was that Kazam? No, that was Shaq. So does that end the Rumble? That ends the entire card Rumble. for the Rumble. You have our picks. Now we'll, you have we'll, our our uh, our surprises. Thank you for joining us, Shay J. Styles. I we want to talk about the Rumble. We're going to go ahead and talk a little bit more, but uh, since we're done talking about the Royal Rumble, man, you can go inside and go play some more games, man, and we're going to keep filling this jar up for you. Boom. I'm going to take Boom. it off, too. Boom. Thanks for having Thank me, guys. Thank you, brother Leo. Woo. Woo. Bye. Take care. So, yeah, interestingly enough, as we said, like, all the storylines are going to begin here. What do we see happening? My main storyline I'm, like, focusing on from the Rumble is what is up with The Undertaker? Now, like, like I said, like I had this in the bag. I had this in the bag from the beginning, you know? Yes. It's completely in the bag because, like, the last two years I've called the Rumble on the spot. Who's going to win it? That's this year true. I really thought, like I said, Finn Balor, AJ. In comes Undertaker. Okay. Um, um, against these two young. Universal title. Oh, okay. Uh... You know, and that's why, like, you know, my fifth pick, you know, it's a Sting. You know, I mean, it's gonna be cool to see Balor and Undertaker Such maybe in the ring together, card. but to see Sting and Undertaker just, just, just give us just, you know, a pop, just one quick, you know, little. Oh my God, they're in the ring, and then they got eliminated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, it's all we see. Goldberg comes from behind him and just eliminates them both. You know, and then but Brock's would, big ass at thirty-two forty. Oh, man. If there's a Goldberg Sting stare down, in oh, the man. I will lose my mind. Because you know why? It was pure blasphemy. You know, if Sting's in that ring, no one's going to touch him. You can't. Yeah. He'll break. <laughs> exactly. <You can't. laughs> no, no one's allowed to touch him but Taker. It'll and be like when uh, Iron Sheik won the gimmick battle royal at WrestleMania yeah. X7 <laughs> because he was the only one that couldn't bump, so everybody else just bumped over the ropes. No, it was Sheik. Sheik gets Sheik. to win. Yeah, it was Sheik. 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 Yeah. Sheik. He wins. He can't. His intro was so long that. Jim Cornette and brother love Bruce Pritchard come after him, and they're in the ring before him. He's taking so long to waddle his poor little self all the way to the ring. Um, but well. after that, I mean, what's going to happen with the, with Taker? I mean, like, I really don't think he's going to win the Rumble. Like, what is he doing there? Like, I really please, please, can we have AJ and Undertaker? Can, can we just have the match? Give us what Taker's doing there is what we've talked about off camera before. Was when times were hard with WWE. You give Taker the belt. That was that's very true. true. That so was so I think true Taker's in those kind days. of getting that rub again, where we need ratings, we need Taker. You know, like so Vince is pulling at whatever he can get. Push to Taker get. to yeah, help so push the universal title. Taker. Yeah, that would be really interesting to see people with signs at a WWE show. Push Taker, <laughs> like he's some underrated guy or something. I mean, like, <laughs> is that is that how you really want give to push Taker the universal genius. title? I mean, give it to Taker. I mean, uh, you can't give the. T- I don't think you can put the title on a part time no. guy. They learned that lesson with Brock. And that's why I don't think they're. Gonna, I don't think Cena's gonna win that match with AJ. I mean, he's a part time guy. I mean, he's already signed on to do another movie. Yeah, but AJ's gonna beat him a fourth time. You he should. He should. You can't beat you me. You can't beat me, man. Oh, you can't fucking beat me. 34, but like, 22. I really think, like, I mean, 
Look, if a Taker's got two two manias left, I really think this year's mania should be AJ and Undertaker. Mm-hmm. Like it, 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 it just it would be probably the coolest match ever. Right. The phenom, the phenomenal one, phenomenal forearm, Miss- choke slam. It, it. Oh man, <laughs> you know, you know, AJ goes for the Styles Clash reversal tombstone. Oh my God, dude, it'd be amazing. <laughs> Mr. TNA against the guy Woo! that never left the company. That would because be, if we're never going to get something. Sting and Undertaker, you got to give us AJ oh, and, and how, Undertaker. How, I'm trying to picture in my head how dope AJ's got Taker ready for the Styles Clash and like bends backwards, like just the and visual of how that would look of Taker. So I'm saying, dude, well, re- well, a reversal well, tombstone out of AJ. So, oh my god, I like, want to see that now so bad. <laughs> It has to happen. It has to happen. It just, it just so has great. to happen. Exactly. Because how do you... Never. Never. It wouldn't even happen reverse, like that. How do you reverse the style? I don't know, Greg. How, how does, does he pick him up happen? and do that? AJ will figure AJ's, it out. AJ's done it to big people. You know, so <laughs> Taker's like clash. seven feet tall, He's man. Or <laughs> well, maybe Taker will go oh, for the tombstone and then a reversal into it. And AJ just drops him. Yeah. And AJ just drops him. I see I see the ending being AJ rolling down the sleeve. Phenomenal forearm. Caught in midair, chokes Lynn. Cause Taker. All at once, just like midair. Yeah, just boom. boom. Swings over, bam. Never, never, Not never. The swing. He just grabs him. Yeah, and he has just to just do. Throws him. Never touching. Looks so good too. What do you see, think, Dingo? We need to see this match now. That has to happen. Do you see Through what all we did? My predictions. AJ goes <laughs> over. Taker wins well, the shit, rumble. What about that? Yeah. Happens at Mania. Yeah. Thirty-six <laughs> eleven. The T-Rex that AJ Styles rides in to this match. <laughs> Like Undertaker's gonna rise up from the grave in an alien space tomb. Like <laughs> right, you guys, come on. This is fantasy booking. This is fantasy. <laughs> Yeah. That's the match that needs to happen. I mean, that's the only way I see Taker there, other than Finn Balor. Um, I mean, I mean, like I said, like Finn Balor and Undertaker sounds good and looks good on paper, but I just don't think it would just be a good match. Even even if they put Cena against Taker, it looks good on paper. It sounds great. It's just not going to be a good match. Bailey versus Taker. That's what I want to see. That's just that's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna feed that poor girl to the Undertaker. Rest in peace. <sighs> no man. <laughs> no. What was that? He's <laughs> old. He's <laughs> old. That's the thing. I mean, he can still. It's got to be AJ and then Sting. Because, I mean, I think Sting's got one match left. You've got to stop with the Sting. No. It's not going to happen. I can dream. I can still dream, damn it. But I'm going to dream right now. I, mean, I want Sting, Sting and Taker. Take your AJ and all these crazy-ass moves. I, <laughs> Taker, Sting, even though that's not the craziest thing in the night, I was saying earlier that um, I would love to see Corey Graves in the Royal Rumble <laughs> off camera. So, you know, talk about a guy that you can't touch or he'll right. break. Um, and, uh... I still think, though, to make Taker legitimate, you have to get him his old biker gimmick back. Who he is in real That's, life. That's, yeah, because old, me Mark. Just old dude on a bike that just wants to fight all the time. I can believe that. This dead man gimmick where you're dying <laughs> should not be. <laughs> it's like Hugh Jackman soul. is Wolverine. Like, why are you aging so noticeably? You're supposed to be. Whatever. I'm like, sorry. seriously, if we hear Limp Biscuits rolling at the Rumble and he comes out all biker Taker, yeah, I'm. I'll, like you said, I will take a shit on the carpet. Thirty-eight thirteen. <laughs> my pants, dude. Thirty-eight thirteen. Uh, wow. So, trying to wrap this up. As we said multiple times in the beginning, it's January. Rumble is coming. This is the beginning of the storylines. You've seen kind of what we want to see, fantasy-wise. Being more serious. How do you think WWE is going to mess this up? What What is something they are going you know, to do? I actually, you know, what are actually, they going to do that you WWE know is going to be is wrong? Actually, they actually, after that, that, that WrestleMania last year. Where they, they got, got booed out of the building. 100,000 people booing. The, the one I fell asleep on. The first time I've ever fallen asleep during a WrestleMania <laughs> match. Which actually started me just not being impressed. Now I fall asleep down every pay-per-view I come over to. That's why if you see us on Too Sweet to Lead on Facebook, M1 is not impressed. Not impressed. <laughs> That all began yeah. with the with the uh, thirty two minute nap he took between the Triple H Roman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking shit, but shit ever pile since then they've been they, they've been having a pretty good year. The brand split, you know, was a good idea. Um, I think heading into this mania, we're we're in for one hell of a mania this year. I think we're gonna actually have a great a great Royal Rumble. The two pay per views prior to WrestleMania are gonna be awesome. You got Elimination Chamber. We got 
poop lane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, like with going what you're saying though, like 2016 was a great year for wrestling. It actually it was. was very so good. It's shaping up. There's, like this Rumble, everyone's saying is like the hardest to predict. So we're looking at probably a really good year coming up with wrestling. We're finally, like I said, we're finally going to see the transition of the new era of wrestling. Like with Taker finally being done, and like who's who's left. Uh, Big Show's done at this Mania. Mm-hmm. I, I keep saying that the Mania, you need to have Big Show, Mark Henry and Kane, triple threat match, retirement match. The three of them, that's their send-off. Just Against the Young game. Bucks and Kenny Omega. <laughs> Against the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega. Yes. Yes, with, I with, would love that. With <laughs> special <laughs> guest referee Luthez. That's my fantasy <laughs> booking. All right, guys, sorry, we got to wrap this one up. The clock is ticking a little bit. Um, thank you for joining us. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You can find us on uh, the Wilbur Club at Too Sweet to Delete on uh, Facebook. Um, the Maniacal One, Kirk Alicious, Jason the Dingo. Our young Lion Shay is back in there playing some video games, but he wanted to say bye to you guys. So we are all too sweet to delete. Thank you guys. Do not get deleted.